Hey everyone, it's Liz here, the Poxy Zebra. Um, I thought I would do a Christmas themed video. Um, I've already done one this season about UK Christmas gifts, uh, or toys in particular. Um, but I thought I'd let you know my favourite traditions and things for Christmas. Um, some of them are maybe UK specific, but quite a few of them are just general, I think everywhere. Um, around the world probably have these traditions as well um, so I'll go straight into it so the first thing I absolutely love and this is specifically I'm gonna just say throughout December because Christmas for me starts 1st of December uh, the first things uh, first two things I do one is start an advent calendar now uh, the advent calendar um, I used to get chocolate ones, then when I couldn't eat chocolate because of the lactose issues, I had dairy free ones. And in the UK, the dairy free advent calendars are horrible. They are, the chocolate doesn't taste very good at all. And then I realised um, last year that Lego did advent calendars. I didn't know this. So um, I got Lego Star Wars ones, so that's the only one I could find. And I like Star Wars, but. I didn't really know half of the stuff that was in it. So this year, um, Lego released an Harry Potter advent calendar Lego one. So I was like immediately like, of course I'm going to get this, but it was really expensive. Um, well, it was about £25. And so I know some people spend more on advent calendars these days because you get ones with like candles and makeup and alcohol and cheese and all sorts of stuff. Um, but I actually got mine uh, with a voucher and it was on sale on Amazon so I actually bought that back in August or September I think uh, so it's been in our cupboard for ages so the 1st of December is always exciting because it's the first day of advent calendars um, also on the 1st of December um, I absolutely must put our Christmas decorations at tree up now in our house we have quite a small house um, or a bungalow um, so we don't have a real tree or a big tree because a real trees are a nightmare shedding needles and we've got two cats and also they're hard to maintain and we've got a really nice very small little tree it doesn't take up too much room and it's fiber optic so it lights up um, I will put in pictures here and um, we also decorate the mostly the living room because that's the main room in our house so we have tinsel everywhere Christmas decorations, lights, all sorts of stuff. And then around the house we'll put bits of tinsel and stuff, but not a lot in any other rooms. Um, we only have um, five rooms in this bungalow anyway, so um, yeah. Um, and then obviously from decorating, I love Christmas trees. I absolutely love everything about them. I love the smell of real Christmas trees. Um, I love decorating trees and this year we went to Derbyshire and Chatsworth House which is a um, stately home um, very famous in the UK um, it every year has a Christmas display in the house and this year the theme was Christmas around the world and it was amazing every room had a different um, Christmas tree and then all the decorations would from that particular part of the world so they had Canada, Japan, Netherlands, uh, France, Germany, USA, um, like loads and loads of countries and um, and it was amazing and there were so many Christmas trees I was in like my absolute heaven of Christmas and the decorations were amazing too but I love Christmas trees a lot they to me symbolize Christmas really um, they just do <laughs> and then I absolutely love wrapping presents now some people might think you're completely I'm completely mad for thinking that but honestly um, I don't know what it is but I, I much prefer giving presents than receiving presents and I love wrapping them up and making them look pretty and like getting excited about seeing people opening these presents I've wrapped and um, I like taking time I usually put Christmas music on and sit on the bed with all the presents around me and the wrapping paper and like it's just I love it I don't know why I'm I'd say I'm all quite good at wrapping presents I'm not like over the top um, fancy like 
or anything like that but I just like to keep it simple and pretty and yeah I just love doing that um, and then obviously Christmas Eve I absolutely love um, depending what we do like sometimes we just stay in and have time just me and my husband or me and whoever family is around um, when I was younger we used to go to the carol service at my local church um, we don't really go to church much um, now so and plus this year I've got to steer clear of big crowds because of my immune system so a carol concert on Christmas Eve is me full of kids and families so I've got to steer clear but a tradition that we have done since I've lived with Adam is that in our local area I mean it's nothing compared to in the USA I know they go all out with Christmas decorations on the house and it's incredible and we don't do nearly a third of what they do but we go for a drive around our local area and through our town and look at Christmas lights and it just gets you in the mood for Christmas. I really like it and we kind of um, usually get a takeaway because that time just before Christmas you don't want to start cooking and have to wash up because Christmas Day this year we're at my parents and then Boxing Day we're going to Adam's mum and brother's um, house and then each year we alternate it so we get to see everyone at Christmas and then maybe one day we'll all get together <laughs> but it seems the tradition when you get married that you fall into this like routine of like alternating who you see each year um, and then of course after Christmas you have leftovers and my favourite leftover is roast potatoes cold roast potatoes are amazing especially the ones that have been cooked in goose fat because they go so crispy and then when they go cold they're still like oh they taste it's like having cold pizza and I know it's like a love it or hate it thing but I love cold roast potatoes amazing and of course cold turkey sandwiches now I think this is something that I know definitely in the USA they do but in the UK it's like I've always known it being like exciting and some years when I was younger we used to have cold turkey and my dad would make homemade chips or fries whatever you want to call them um, and some people have uh, cranberry sauce with or cranberry stuff I don't know what it is but it's like it's like a jam type thing with the turkey in the sandwich or stuffing or whatever you want it's like and some people have leftover sandwiches so you put like turkey roast everything that's left over from Christmas dinner in the sandwich that's epic um that's like the rules like you have leftover turkey you never let it go to waste and a lot of people also use like the turkey bones um and boil them and any leftover meats and stuff and make like turkey stew or turkey soup or turkey curry it's like turkey central for like two days after christmas um so yeah it's it's crazy um and I just like a turkey sandwich and I used to love it with ketchup but now I can't have ketchup because my allergies um, I don't know what I'll have with it this year but I know we'll have leftovers so that's exciting and then the only other thing that I could think of that I love which actually I haven't started doing yet which is crazy I might be sparkly but this isn't Christmas um, is Christmas pyjamas um, Adam has some he has the well he only has the t-shirt he has a Coca-Cola the Christmas truck from the advert on it saying holidays are coming and um, I've got the same one but slightly different it's the same brand uh, but it's a whole set pyjama set and then also I have um, a pyjama set and it's got on the top it's one of these sequin ones where you you push it one brush it one way and it says something you brush it the other way it says something else and it says I'm on the nice list and then I'm on the naughty list so and it's like um, red and silver and that's quite cool um, but I love it like you can get matching pyjamas now for families and for partners and onesies and I really wanted to get Christmas onesies this year for me and Adam but I couldn't find any that I liked or that would match quite well um, and I wanted fleecy ones because a lot of the onesies are this really thin material and they just don't keep you warm and the whole point in the winter is that you get cold here and you want to be warm and yeah so maybe next year I'll have to be a bit earlier but I did start looking quite late for those so anyway that is my favourite things about Christmas I hope you enjoy 
I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas wherever you are and whatever you're doing and I will speak to you soon don't forget to subscribe bye